Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to display lost and record in Informatica Power Center or how we can display lost and record in Informatica or lost and record in Informatica Power Center. So this is the video lecture 17 or 8 of this Informatica class series. So let's see. So first we are going to create one new mapping. Let's give you a m underscore lost and records. So here we're going to use EMP is the source. You can use any table or file. Then after, or uh, we can solve this problem with the two ways. First is going to use their expression translation. So let's use their expression translation and uh, selecting this all. And in this expression translation, you need to add the two port. One is variable and one is output port. So let's use the so first going to change this so uh, data type not this one okay first let's cancel and now here going to add the ports so this going to change their data types so this is integer integer and uh, let's give the name b underscore count b count and this here giving o underscore count b count and o count so this is a variable port and this here output port so variable port or this or b count that's going to increase with the one and uh, the next is or uh, this b count value that go to o count so this or uh, b count value that go to o count okay so this we need to do here on this variable port. After that, we need to sort the values of this O count. So that we are going to use the sorted transformation to sort the record. Let's select this all and track the O. So port and this here going to sort O count. So this should be descending order so that last value that go to first and then after again going to use their expression transformation so let's use their expression transformation and uh, selecting this all track there and uh, let's add their port so two port that's going to add and this, this should be integer type and uh, here integer type so this giving the name again b count and this here giving the name cnt count so this is the variable port and this going to increase with the one and this here output port and uh, this here the value is now b count So we count value that go there. After that, let's apply OK. And uh, the next is this is not required. So that going to make that input port. And the next is here, we need to filter the record. So again, we count value that go to O count. OK. And uh, let's use the filter transformation. And there we need to use or uh, give the properties here. CNT value should be one. If the value is one, CNT. Also, uh, this return here or uh, lost value. So last position value or uh, that display. So last position or uh, is now that's come into the first place. So that uh, here that display the last position value. So let's use their target and track there. Now save that and uh, according to this going to create the workflow. So here going to create the workflow and uh, this here last n and uh, this here mapping. So this come from escort and EMP TCT that's come from escort 
and this you need to make that normal and this you need to make that truncate and after that let's use the and save that so now let's start the task Now this is succeeded there. Let's uh, check the output. So one record that's loaded into the target total is 14. And if I go into this, so uh, uh, here source EMP. Let's see the record. So here going to use. Let's uh, see the record there. So last position is now seven. 934 and now going to check the output into the target so let's uh, click on this preview and uh, here you can see 7934 or record is now that's displaying there so last to uh, record that's so uh, displaying there now if you want to display here or uh, last to uh, three record so here less than equal to three you can give click on ok save that refresh so uh, the session and now let's uh, start the task there now you can see there the uh, here last three record that's so uh, displaying and now going to check the record inside this into the target let's go on this preview data keep the password so here you can see 79347902790 and uh, here in the target let's go into preview here let's keep the password so here you can see or uh, 79027930 here this all last three record that's display like this if you want to display here last uh, 10 record so simply you need to give there or 10. So this will display here last to 10 record. Save that and here let's uh, refresh uh, this uh, session. And now going to start the task. So with the help of this expression transformation and uh, filter transformation, we can easily achieve the output. Running. This succeeded. Here you can see last 10 record that's loaded into the target. And if you check the output here, you can get the last 10 record. So this is the last 10 record. Is now that's displaying 7934. And uh, this here, last 10 record. So last record that's going first. And all 10 position, last 10 record that's displaying there. Then after I'm going to discuss what second way to get the last 10 record. So let's create new mapping. Last and record so they are going to use so uh, the source emp and simply you need to use their or uh, rank transformation so this auto and here this rank transformation so now select this all and uh, here you can see if you don't select this all top and here one so by uh, giving there the value one so this display there or last position value so now let's uh, take the target. So target that's going to use EMP TCT and here selecting this all except rank index. So select that and now you can see let's uh, save that and here are going to create one new session. So new session last and record that's come there. Here quickly keep the mapping EMP that's so as called as called only and EMP TCT as called and this here normal and let's use their truncate apply OK and now let's stabilize the link save that now I start the task so here by using this, this return here, last record from the source. And now you can see one value that's flowed into a target. 
let's uh, check that. So here, seven nine three position three four is the last position, or this here last record that's displaying there. Let's use there. So here you can see seven nine three four is the last position. Like this, so uh, or if you go into the properties, if you want to display your three last three records, you can give the value three. Save that and now, or uh, refresh the session. Refresh the session and let's uh, start the task. So now you can see this place, so the record that's loaded into the target here, you can compare the record. So here you can see 793 position, 4 is the last position, this is second last, and here third last, 7902, 7900, that's displaying there. So like this, if you want to display here, or last 10 record, then you can give here 10. So by using simply rank transformation, you can get there the same output. So let's so refresh this and save that and now I start the task so I start the task and uh, by using this mapping you can get your last 10 record so here you can see last 10 record that's displaying there and you can check the output let's give the password and here you can see 793.4 is the last position and there is third position and here 10 position so this is how we can get your last 10 records or last 3 records, last 10 records in Informatica Power Center. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.